Hi, myself Dr. S.K. Gupta. I am a consultant in clinical hematology, blood and bone marrow transplants. And currently working in American Oncology Institute, Nalla Ganla, Lingampalli, Hyderabad. See this, there are, uh, we know there are a lot of uh, various stem cells are there in our body. Say, one of the important stem cells is the blood producing stem cells, which we say the hematopoietic stem cells. The normal source of these hematopoietic stem cells, stem cells in our body is three. One is the bone marrow, second is the blood and third is the umbilical cord. So the bone marrow is the most common and most precious size. So what happens when somebody is affected with the, any disorders of the blood and bone marrow? So there are two scenarios can happen in the life. One, these bone marrow stem cells work in a uncontrolled manner and that we say the bone marrow cancers. If suppose there is any production, if there is a, the stem cells, the factory, if the work is less, then there are other conditions which we say the aplastic anemias or thalassemias or immunodeficiency disorders depending on the how many number of stem cells are deficient in our body. Right, so because of these two disorders which is arising from the stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells, these disorders can be treated by these blood and bone marrow stem cells donations and that what we say is the blood or bone marrow transplant. So if you look there are, I just I mentioned that there are the uh, stem cells disorders, cancerous versus non-cancerous disorders. So there are, are almost 70, 70 the disorders are there which can be cured by doing this blood and bone marrow transplant. So most common disorders in which is a lethal is the aplastic anemias. Other non-cancerous disorders like thalassemias, sickle cell uh, anemias, immunodeficiency disorders, inherited by birth some metabolic disorders are there can be cured by this blood and bone marrow transplant. So this is a one scenario. Other is the cancerous disorders like acute leukemias, lymphoma, multiple myeloma. So there are cancerous disorders. So oral average because these disorders arises from the stem cells which is in the bone marrow and can be cured if somebody else gives the stem cells healthy stem cells so these disorders can be cured so what what we need uh, during this blood and bone marrow transplant is because the patient's stem cells are defective defective either cancerous or they are not working so they are defective so he has to depend on somebody else healthy stem cells and to get the healthy stem cells the basic requirement from the donor and the patient side is the match and that match in our language is the HLA match so the patient and donor should be fully matched before going for the uh, fully matched for HLA and that HLA match if full match means 10 by 10 match what we say in our language 10 antigens HLA antigens of the patient 10 HLA antigens of the donor so if these things are matched then we can say that this is a donor who is fully matched for the uh, stem cells donations and this 10 by 10 match most common source we can get from the family members so there is a huge possibility within the family members we can get like family members means i say i, I say the siblings maybe brothers sisters or the father and mother so there is the huge possibility of getting the 10 by 10 HLA match but what is happening unfortunately this uh, we can get only out of suppose out of 100 suppose requiring the stem cells transplant only 25 to 30 percent has the donors in the family remaining 70 percent because of genetic reasons there is no HLA match now this 70 percent of the patient who need for the blood and bone marrow transplant they have to depend on others donors other donors maybe Indian donors or maybe the other country US UK Canada Australia Germany so these are the various there are all over world stem cell donors registries are there from them we have to depend for this stem cells donation so what is requirement is the 10 by 10 HLA match donors now what is this HLA it is very uh, commonly used term nowadays is there HLA is just like blood group so blood group has the antigens blood group typing is there which is from by birth so like this HLA is also one of the antigen which is from by birth which doesn't change it so it's just like an antigen blood group antigen and the HLA antigen so prerequisite for the blood and bone marrow transplant is the HLA matched donor so one scenario is the 10 by 10 HLA matched donor but I want to add that nowadays there are techniques are there we can do the half match transplant as well that is known as the haploidentical transplant 
so meaning if the even out of 10 and chale antigens if five are match half are match still we can go for the transplant so that is on haplo identical match so overall the requirement must is the fit donor with the 10 by 10 hla match yeah so uh, if you look the once we have got the suppose for an example there is an underlying condition which require the transplant for the patient stem cells are not working for an example aplastic anemia or thalassemia or say cancer now what we have when there is a suitable donor is there say for an example the donor is in the germany and there is a hla match is there now what we do further is we have to collect the uh, hla uh, that uh, stem cells from the donor so now what is the procedure how he donates the stem cells so this stem cell donation there are three i told there are three sources of stem cell donation one is the umbilical cord but because umbilical cord we generally not store and there are very less in number so they are not sufficient for an adult patient so there are now remaining two sources are there one is the bone marrow second is the blood so what we we know that there the most of the time the stem cells are in the bone marrow so we can take directly by putting a needle at the back side and we can take under general anesthesia which is almost one to two hour procedure can be done so that is one source we can collect from the bone marrow second important and nowadays increasing trends for the collection is the blood we can collect the stem cells from the blood now the stem cells are more in the bone marrow so we give certain injections like uh, here like insulin just insulin is given below the skin so like that we give one or two times per day for around three four days some injections which can be taken at nearby home nearby hospital any nurse can give that injection very simple just like a growth factor so that temporarily some of the stem cells some of the stem cells from the bone marrow they come to the blood and once they are in the blood on fourth and fifth day they are in the peak number and that fourth and fifth day either of most likely we collect on the fifth day so on the fifth day we collect the stem cell from the blood just like the platelets so like this, this what we do we take the patient donor into the maybe in, in his room itself we can do in his room itself where he is staying in the hospital for one day there itself we can collect the stem cell we bring the machines from the blood bank we keep at the bedside and we uh, put a small uh, needle what we use during the blood collections that same needle and then we change the setting of the machine so machine will collect automatically out of the whole blood it will select the stem cells and the remaining they will go back to the body so that is just as simple as giving the platelets but the difference between platelet donation and the stem cell donation is there for the platelet donation no injection is required because we have enormous number of platelets in normal in our blood but because the stem cells are less we have to take the stem cell from the bone marrow so they come to the blood so that is as simple that donating the uh, stem cells from the blood is as simple as donating the platelets the important see this 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 what the important thing is there there are hla antigens remember the hla antigens i said which is very fixed uniform for every, every individual from birth now if you we'll go and do the hla antigen testing in the market the cost is 20 to 25000 but if you do this testing as a campaign to help somebody else this is at a free of cost that is one important thing is there second thing you look this is a liquid organ transplant this is a blood and bone marrow is liquid organ transplant it is not a solid organ transplant like we give kidney so one kidney is lost so here we have plenty enormous number of stem cells in our body and we give is a small fraction so there is no defect no deficiency to the patient that his stem cell has gone he will develop an immunodeficiency he will develop any disease in the life problem or he will have the stem cell deficiency in his life so there is a no no such issues are there so we can donate and by giving a uh, donation important and very important thing is we can give a life when we are alive we donate the kidney we give the corneas and all the thing after our death but here the stem cells can be given when we are alive active in our day to day life we can uh, working so we can gift a life when we are alive so that's the very important thing there are a lot of transplants are required in the all over world almost there are 30 to 50000 per year requirement of the stem cells are there but because of unavailability of this uh, hla match donors these patients are succumb to the death and we can help by just donating these hla match stem cells it's a very simple procedure and how we do the HLA testing, right? We do the blood group. How we do the blood group? We take the blood sample and we process and within one hour we get the H uh, this blood group antigen report. But for HLA antigen, there is no need to prick. We don't take the blood sample. We just take a buccal swab. We uh, in, uh, put a just earbud swab. That same earbud swab or similar swab, we put in the mouth and through the mucous membrane, the buccal cavity, inside cavity, we take a mucus. 
we don't prick we don't injure we don't cut so just take the that mucus membrane sample we process the sample we take the dna and the, through the dna we uh, do the hla testing very simple it just uh, uh, what you say just putting a cotton swab into the mouth that's all that's the hla antigen and beauty of the things i think what i is told we can gift a life while we are alive yeah. thank you stay aware and stay healthy